All right, child, I'm going to end this episode like I always do. Showing love and shouting out. And today, I want to shout out who I call the face of Jackson State sports media, Mr. Ken Clark. Okay. As I've said previously, that King, humble. He doesn't want to say that. You feel me? But God damn it, I'm going to say it because this man been putting in work. Okay. I've had this shout out in mind since last Monday. Okay. Had this shout out in mind since last Monday. Uh, Jack State University had a game on that previous Saturday. Not this Saturday. We was on. We were on the road versus BCU. I'm talking about uh, the Saturday before that. Ken Clark was at the game. You feel me? I'm like, okay. You know, uh, this brother putting in work. You know what I'm talking about? He racking up them frequent flyer miles like a motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Putting in that work. I didn't expect to see the King at the game on Monday. Didn't expect that. I said, God damn, this King really putting in. Me and my little boot thing, we pull up to the game, and I see the King hop out. I'm like, God damn, this brother really putting in this work. God damn. And then when I hollered at him, I, you know, he, he had already posted that he was going, you know, they had taken a break. You know his show, KC1400. Uh, they had taken a break, but, you know, he had said that he was going to be back that night. And I was like, oh, you going to feed this, feed the streets. And he did that. So from that day, I was like, you know, I want to shout this king out. You know what I'm talking about? But uh, since then, it's just been other shit happening. Throughout the week on every show, you know what I'm talking about, that I was able to catch. I saw uh, where the brother dropped the details about the uh, relationship between Prime and Aubrey Miller. Good shit. The brother passionately gave us that information. You feel me? And see, that's why, why, why I go to his show. I go for information. You, you feel me? The, 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 the king is locked in. You know what I'm talking about with the university giving us pertinent information about what's going on with the teams and shit like that, giving us pertinent information for what's going on with various players and shit like that. You know what I'm talking about? Wealth of knowledge about what's going on. Again, that's why I call him the face or the face of Jack State Sports Media. So we got information about that situation with Prime and Aubrey. Then another episode. You know, they had, they had the King Nook on there. And you just had a real moment of brothers talking mental health and shit. Good shit. Good shit. Y'all already know. That, that's my lane. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all know doing suicide prevention month. I did four lives about this shit. You know what I'm saying? So to see these brothers up in here, these black men up here just, you know, openly talking about Mental health, that shit was refreshing. That's some good shit. Folks need to see that. You understand? And then I think, but maybe that was the Friday joint. I think that was the Friday joint. Well, the King was on there talking about the partnership that he got with Mr. Irv Mulligan. You know what I'm saying? Good shit. And on there talking about what they're trying to do with uh, NIL Collective and all that kind of stuff. You feel me? Uh, and yeah, he mentioned what I've done with uh, Maya Crump and, and uh, Zeke Cook about basketball teams. But I was able to do that, not from watching this show. I was able to do that from a link that he put out one day on Twitter. He put out a link about a collective. The, 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 the Not collective, uh, put out a link about Open Doors. I saw the link, used the link, went over there and did my thing. And then, then I did a video showing y'all how to do it. This shit is easy. But see, this king right here has that information. I didn't even fucking know that shit existed. I didn't know it existed. You know what I'm saying? So this king is giving us information. This king is putting in that work. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to shout him out for that. Because we got us, y'all. We got us. 
We have to have us. After all the shit that has transpired over the last year and some change, if we don't know anything now, we should know that we got to have us. You feel me? We got to do it. We got sold a dream. And then after that motherfucker bailed on a dream that uh, he conjured up his damn self, we got attacked by the rest of the country. And this king has been one of the individuals, along with TD, you feel me? Along with Zoe, you feel me? Along with uh, everybody else, my, my OG, k Dub, he behind the scenes. You know what I'm talking about, Miss Rochelle? Everybody down with the crew. Like, they have been doing their thing. Because we got to have us. You feel me? And this is hard. This is not easy. This is not easy, y'all. Some of y'all I know, you see folks say shit to me. You see folks say shit to Ken. And y'all just tell us, oh, ignore them. Or just do that. Just block them. Just do that. That shit's tough, though, y'all. When people are attacking you. And all you doing is sharing information about shit that you know. Like Ken tells y'all, he not going to get up there and talk about shit that he don't know nothing about. And the man is plugged in. He knows what's going on up there at that goddamn school with the sports teams. He knows what's going on. But you got folks that, you know, are part of a cult or folks that just dislike Jack State or people that just un anti-black that's going to attack him. I deal with the same shit. I didn't got attacked by some of every motherfucking about it. And because I talk about more shit than just Jack State, I didn't got attacked for political reasons. I didn't got attacked. <laughs> you name it. You fucking name it, dog. And so it's hard, harder than you may think to just say, oh, just don't worry about them. Because folks ain't attacking you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we power through that bitch. We power through that. We do. We do. You understand? Uh, starting something, founding something is hard. It's hard, y'all. It really is. What you watching right now is a part of my company, IG Entertainment. Okay? We founded this shit in 2016. Really couldn't really push it until 2018 when I left the classroom. And I've been working my ass off to build this up for real, for real. Working my ass off. It was just last year when I'm finally getting some things to pop and go viral, stupid, crazy viral without spending marketing dollars on it. I had some success before that, you know, somebody, but I had to put marketing dollars on it. So when I hear Ken talk about KC1400 is his business, I know that brother talking about it. it's fucking hard, y'all. That's why we be asking y'all. We need you to subscribe. We need you to like. We need you to share. You understand? Because we got shitted on by a celebrity and his celebrity friends. So one of the ways we can counter that bullshit is to make ourselves the celebrities. And we can only do that with your help. You are helping us do that. When y'all like our shit, when y'all share our shit, you know, when you tell folks at your workplace, hey, man, man, we got, wait, ooh, you are helping us become celebrities in our own right. Because we got to have us. You understand? Know and Ken needs your support. I need your support. We all, uh, 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 Doc Holiday needs your support. Timona needs your support. Because we got to have us. Ken and them do a great job pushing group economics. That's what we got to be on because we got to have us. And what we are doing is harder than what Deion Sanders did. Deion Sanders showed up to work. 
He showed up to practice in high school. They saw he could run fast. They saw he was a great athlete. They got him a scholarship to Florida State. He showed up when Bobby Bowden and them told him to show up. Showed out, but showed up when somebody else told him to show up. It showed out, they got him drafted to the Falcons. Whoever owned the Falcons, whoever was the coach, they told him when to show up. He showed out. The 49ers did the same thing. He ain't found none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? He just showed up and showed out. Oh, why are you getting on prime again? This motherfucker right here, Michael Jordan. He ain't found the Chicago Bulls. He showed up when Jerry uh, 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 Reinsdorf told his ass to show up. That's what he did. Whenever Phil Jackson and them scheduled practice, he showed up. He didn't found Nike. Phil Knight did that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what we're doing is harder because we ain't got nobody else's shoulders to stand on and shit. You feel me? It's us. <laughs> Competing in this same digital landscape with all the rest of these motherfuckers around the world. You understand? Know so when that king is uh talking to y'all about this shit and talking to y'all about what he, his vision is for KC 1400 and all that kind of stuff. I feel him. Shit. I feel him. And I applaud him. Because that king is working. That king is grinding. It ain't many motherfuckers I would say be grinding close to how I grind. I still say I'm the hardest working motherfucker in business. You feel me? Because if I'm woke, I'm working. Period. In a myriad of ways. You understand? Know but this king right here, I got to tip my cap. This motherfucker be grinding for Jackson State University. You understand? Know He's doing a hell of a job. So I just wanted to say shout out and salute, king. Keep doing your motherfucking thing. And keep being the face of Jackson State Sports Media. And shout out to all y'all real ones out there. This has concluded episode 189 of the realest, most entertaining show in the game. Put it on some. Again, um, hit that like button, y'all. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that share button. Put all your people on it. Make sure you follow me across all social media platforms, all right, uh, especially over there on Instagram, all right? Like I just told y'all, hey, we got to have us. We got to have us, okay? So best way to counter the bullshit from these celebrities is it, support the celebrities amongst you. Support those of us who truly love us. And are doing good works. You feel me? So make sure you follow me across all social media. Uh, it costs you nothing to hit that button. You feel me? But uh, once again, I must say, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. As always. One. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.